what's going on guys welcome back to the channel my name is the creative investor or tyler whatever you guys want to call me but this is going to be a more serious video we are going to go over something that i want your guys's honest opinion about so let's just get into this video so what i really want to acknowledge and talk to you guys about is that nobody here on youtube specifically in the finance field is always going to be accurate and i do apologize if anybody has taken what i said and went out and based trades off of that that's not what these videos are for and if i ever make a video saying something i genuinely in my heart believe it to be true now i wish i had a camera for this video it hasn't came in the mail yet but anyways we're still gonna do it just because now you guys gotta be careful of what you see you'll notice in all of these titles yes they might be juicy you might think they're clickbait but there is always evidence to support and suggest what i am saying to be the truth now i'm not going to call anybody out but i have been seeing personally of uh, just a ton of videos saying amc is going to 30x by the end of the year or 20x by the end of the year or go to ten thousand dollars by the end of the year and while i might not knowingly be setting expectations in some of my videos you really have to be careful of what you are entertaining and actually believing it should never be financial advice throughout any video that you guys do see and hopefully my videos don't come off as clickbait hopefully you guys do find value in them but other than that watch out for people that are coming into videos even those kind of videos yes feel free to argue your point on why you think that is not true why amc potentially wouldn't be say ten thousand dollars or twenty thousand or 30x by the end of the year that is all great but i hope none of you guys are are bashing people in the comment sections i know it's kind of slowed down a little bit over the past you know six months or so you have seen a lot of people whether they are hedge funds whether they are just regular people people going in there and trying to break up the community and that's really the last thing that i want to personally happen whether it's amc or any other stock we can make a huge impact in the overall markets and that's really what i wanted to go over feel free to ask me questions in the comment sections uh want to be as transparent as possible possible with you guys and really there's no limit to being transparent so if you guys ever have any questions feel free to let me know in the description but there's also something that i want to go over along the same lines as that and i want your guys's input on this so this is something that i have probably covered in about three videos uh, uh some videos i've went over the whole thing like the first one some other videos i've just kind of dabbled with this and threw this in as really my reasoning for why i am saying i think there's going to be an end of the year rally i don't know if it's going to be 10x i don't know if it's going to be 30x i'm not going to go out to make those claims to get everybody overly excited but i do think there is going to be a rally and i'm not going over this because i think you guys Guys don't know this i i want to go over this briefly with you guys to get your guys's feedback on this do you think this is bullshit do you think this is legit does this make sense to you guys that's really what i want to get across here in this video and i want your guys's inputs i promise i'll respond to every comment feel free to let me know your honest opinion on this because if you guys don't agree with this i'm gonna say what i think is the truth but i don't want to lead you guys in the wrong direction hopefully that makes some sense to you guys so a lot of people are you know getting mad about this just hasn't squozen yet and a lot of people are I uh, really, you know, like I said, discouraged. So let's go over my thesis on why I think we will see an end of the year rally. And it comes down to the Santa Claus rally. And if you guys have already seen this, feel free to just let me know your opinions on this. You don't have to sit through everything that I'm going to talk about yet again. But it comes down to a couple key factors. So the Santa Claus rally, what is a Santa Claus rally? A Santa Claus rally describes a sustained increase in the stock market that occurs in the last week of December through the first two weeks trading day or two two first two days of trading in january there are numerous explanations for the cause of a santa claus rally including tax considerations a general feeling of optimism and happiness on wall street and the investing of holiday bonuses another theory is that some very large institutional investors a number of which are more sophisticated and pessimistic tend to go on vacation at this time leaving the market to retail investors who tend to be more bullish now when you factor in 
a couple key things that are said here. The biggest thing I think is institutional investors going on vacation. Now, we're going to talk about tax loss harvesting, but if you think about a hedge fund right now, they're up a lot on positions. They're down a lot on other positions, but overall, hedge funds have performed incredibly well. So once you sell a position, as you guys probably do know already, you have to pay taxes on those gains. The second you sell them, then you're going to have to pay taxes the next uh, time taxes come around. Well, you might also know this, you might not know this, but if you have losing positions, this time of the year is generally when uh, firms or just people sell out of those positions to realize that loss to offset their gains throughout the year. So it's essentially less taxes that they will have to pay by selling their stock at losses. Now, I'm not saying to do this, but if you're a hedge fund, I think it makes a lot of sense to cover and sell out of your AMC short position while AMC is still at $40 per share, relatively low compared to where we are going to go. I think it makes a lot of sense to cover on your short position in the sense of we've, we've, sustained bullish momentum the volume is incredibly low if we were to see that sell off it would have already happened it would be happening right now on this incredibly low volume i mean we've seen on friday 20.6 million shares that traded hands and we have not seen that low a volume since before the June rally, specifically back here on May 5th of 2021. We have not seen lower volume than what we've seen on Friday since May 5th of 2021. Let that sink in for you guys. Now, what happened about one month later from May 5th? Let's go to June 5th. We were at what about $60 per share a couple days before that had just hit $80 per share. That was a 10 X going from $8, uh, back here. What were we at? Oh, $9, $9, 41 cents. So virtually almost a 10 X going to about $80 less than one month later. That is the key to all of this. All, you know, the Santa Claus rally tax loss harvesting, the short positions, the increase in option activity that we've been seeing. None of that matters if the volume was a couple hundred million shares because there's only going to be so much volume. As you guys do know back here, about 757 million shares traded hands at the peak of the June rally, June 2nd. Now, considering the volume that we could see throughout the next couple of weeks leading to the end of the year could be incredible. Hundreds of millions of shares that is going to make the stock go absolutely crazy. And if we did see a 10 X, I'm never going to say this in a title of a video because it's not about clickbait. It's not about getting guys excited or saying something I think or don't think will happen because I don't necessarily think a 10 X is going to happen. So I'm not going to say that, but if we did from $40 to 10 X, that is $400 by the end of the year. That is what happened during the last two rallies. When we did see this low volume heading into the rally, going from a dollar 91 cents to $20, that is over a 10 X and back here in June, almost a 10 X. So that's basically what I have for this video. I want your guys' opinions on this, uh, you know, a lot of people, they just say great things in the comments. They don't really give an opinion on what is being said, which is great. Just spread the positivity, spread the love in general. That's always what I would rather see. But if you guys don't agree with this, this is your chance. Let me know if you do or don't agree with this, because this is something we're going to have to revisit throughout the next 40 days or so. So just be prepared. Once we're talking about a rally, a lot of this is going to come up. A lot of headlines are going to come up about this. And if you guys don't think this is true, then I will try to, you know, figure out maybe where I'm wrong because I've been wrong plenty of times. As you guys do know, everybody's been wrong plenty of times here with AMC stock. And that's, you know, your guys' opinions can help me refine, you know, what I think. And I don't always think I'm right. Like I said, I'm, there's definitely room for improvement overall. So that's basically all for this video. Love and appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you for watching these videos and this video. Thank you for giving me your opinion on this in the comment section. If you disagree, let me know why you disagree. Don't just say you disagree. Please let me know why you disagree. Let me know why you think this is something that makes sense and resonates with you guys. So that's basically all. I hope you guys have your emotions in check. You are ready to see some gains. It's a lot harder to hold on to a stock when the stock starts to rally than it is when you're down on it because a loss is a loss. What can you do? Sell out for a loss. Nobody wants to do that. But also don't get FOMO at the same time. That is very bad, uh, a, a very bad habit in general to be in. So that's going to be all for this video. You guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.